yo what is up you guys so we have the msi claw here so we have our handheld needs covered <clears throat> i guess but you know it comes a time when you need a tablet so we got a tablet this is the rog flow uh z13 has an rtx 4060 uh, series processor inside of it so we have our handheld we have our tablet and then we need of course we need a laptop you know you can't just have a tablet and handheld you need a laptop so we got our laptop here so we have our handheld needs covered we have our tablet needs covered and we have our laptop needs covered as well but what if we could take the handheld the tablet and the laptop and put them all together into one beautiful seamless package and you know make something amazing and i think that's what we have today today we are checking out a package from one x player that's right we're going to be checking out the one x player x1 which is seeming to be a three-in-one to replace all of these devices let's not waste any time let's get into the box and see if we can replace all three of these devices with a one single device let's get into it Oh, also fun fact before we get started, this ROG Z Flow has an Intel processor and an NVIDIA GPU. This MacBook from 2009 also has an Intel processor and an NVIDIA GPU. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a Core 2 Duo and an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256 megabytes of uh, video memory. So this 15 year old MacBook is similar to this um, 2023 gaming tablet PC. I just thought that was interesting. Anyway, into the unboxing, let's go. Okay, so let's get into the box. Let's not waste any time. Handy dandy unboxing knife. Safety first as always, kids. Now, as you saw from my last video, which was on the MSI Claw, not too impressed with the uh the new intel chip that is the um ultra 7 um whatever you call it the intel ultra 7 155h however you say that not too impressed with it this also has the same processor but it has twice the ram so maybe we should see some improvements um not even sure how it, how the um msi core allocates vram because you can't really select it but anyway this has the uh, um, same processor as the msi claw so there's that not too excited for the performance but let's check out what we have here so we have a, a little carrying case here let's open this up see how it looks this is going to hold just the tablet now this is positioned as like a three-in-one device so it is a a tablet it's pretty much a tablet that you can attach controllers or a keyboard to to make it a handheld or a um a laptop replacement so this is a nice little slim case here you can put the device into it so that is pretty nice um it's not the hardest thing in the world but it should offer some protection um for your device for your tablet while you're on the go let's set that to the side here what else do we have in this box we got some other little accessories here keyboard okay so the keyboard does look pretty decent the trackpad is not the largest, of course, it's just a, a 10 inch device here. So trackpad feels all right. It doesn't really click in the middle, but you get the click on the side. Um, just really much the right and left click, I guess, on the bottom. It doesn't really click on the top or the middle. Let's check the keys. A little bit of travel here, not the most. You can see it is a very a slim profile, but maybe you can see the keys there. Um, not the best. But it should get you by, you know, type in some emails. You may not want to write your next um, Tolkien novel on this, but um, you could definitely knock out some emails and some light, um, you know, word processing for um, productivity. So I like that. A nice little tab here with the um, One X Player logo on it. That is a nice touch. I do like that, that orange logo there. So let's see what else we have in here. So what is this? A mystery. I do like the design here. You see, check out the design on this package. Like this design, this box is definitely, you know, giving some thought on the design. You see the One X Player One here, or oh, the big X, the big X One. That is definitely um, interesting here. Gaming computer for hardcore gamers. That's what it says down here. So let's see what this is. Okay, so we got it open. Oh yes, this is the controllers. Um, let's see what we have here. Some paperwork, plucked that and filed it. Here are the controllers here. 
Let's see how they feel. Okay, they are pretty light, but it does have like a, uh, a slight um, soft touch feel on the plastic. It doesn't feel like normal, typical plastic. It is like a, almost like a, a matte soft touch, almost coating on it. So how does this feel in the hand? It feels decent. I wish the joysticks were a little bigger, but it is a small compact controller. Let's see how it actually feels, the buttons. Okay, triggers feel decent. A little mushy on the trigger. Um, I, I would like a little bit more, um, you know, tension on the travel there, but it does feel pretty decent. Uh, let's see, bumpers. Bumpers feel good. They at least feel better than the MSI Claw, and that's, um, that's um, you know, that's a win for me in my book. Um, buttons on the back here. This button is a release button. These are actually programmable back buttons, so you can see we have a programmable back button on each um, controller. How does it feel to actually hold it and press? If it was like weird in my hand without the device, maybe it feels better on the device, but it does feel like pretty small. As you can see here, I can fit it in my whole hand and it does feel like pretty small. It's just like slightly larger than a Joy-Con. I mean, it is like a sizable difference from a Joy-Con, but it is not um, as large as like, you know, a standard Xbox controller. You can see when I put them together, um, definitely not as big as an Xbox controller, even if it had something in the middle it be slightly smaller than an Xbox controller. Let's check out the D-pad first of all. Okay, this D-pad is actually pretty clicky. I don't know if you can hear the clicks there, but the D-pad is pretty clicky and it's it's like raised up on like this, similar to the Xbox series controller style, like eight way D-pad. They did give you a uh, replacement D-pad um, tip here that I'm guessing you can put on fairly easily maybe. Let's see how that comes off. Okay, so just pull that off. And we can replace that with the um, the normal style one. Let's see how that goes on. Okay, so that clicks into place. It is still raised up, which um, is different. That's new, but uh, it does. It feels very clicky. But I'm not sure how the diagonals will work with it being raised up. I'm not sure how the diagonals will work with it being raised up. So I would. I'll probably stick to the eight way. I know that's like blasphemy for D pads, but I do like the eight way where you can sort of roll around it. So yeah, here is the um, controllers. Let's start wasting time. Let's get to the actual device. Let's get to what you all paid to see and let's see what we have in the actual box here. So this is the main X1 unit here. Let's get into the box here. Pretty decent boxing experience, I must say. I do appreciate a good unboxing experience. Let's see what we have here. Uh, this is probably the user star guide, the manual and everything like that. So you have all your information that's gonna be important to know. Okay, press the boot 10 seconds. Now let's check out the unit here. Let's check this out. Put this to the side first, hold up. Put it to the side, let's not get too excited. See what else we have in here. Okay, let's see what this is. 100 watt uh, fast charger, you can see that there. Nice little braided cable. That's gonna be nice to have. Plug that, file it to the side. Now let's check this out. The X1, let's get into it, you guys. So here's the back plate. That was not smooth at all, my bad. Okay, here is the device. The One X Player X1, check this out. This is like a 10.9 inch display, something like that. But let's see, let's look all around the device here. Let's see, on the top we have ventilation, a turbo button here on the top. Um, we have an Oculink port, that's nice. Oculink as well as the uh, headphone jack. One thing I don't like about this right off the bat is I like the cover, but why cover the headphone jack under there with this flap? So if I wanna use the headphone jack, I have to have the flap open. That just seems like a less than ideal design in my opinion. I don't know, let me know in the comments if that's a bad design idea to have the flap open just to use the headphone jack. I do like that it is covered at the Oculink port there, but the headphone jack, I'd rather that not be covered. Even though I don't use the headphone jack often, I'd rather, not be on, rather not be covered when I need it. Okay, we got the volume rocker, power button. Okay, we got a nice selection of ports here. Um, that's two USB-C. Looks like they're both for charging and data. And then we have a USB-A on the side here, as well as an SD card, uh, micro SD card. So a nice selection of ports here. Another cover on the side. This is gonna be where the um, controller goes. So let's put that controller in, see how that controller feels to go on. Is it sturdy? Okay, pretty sturdy. Let's see, can we hold it with just one controller? This is iffy. 
uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold it with just one controller. That feels real sketchy to hold it like that um, on that pivot point. But anyway, let's get the other controller on there and see if it works as a handheld. Okay, so we have both controllers on now, and let's see how it feels in the hands. Now, this is the device with the um, controllers on. The controllers are pretty small for my hands. My hand is pretty large here, as you can see. I can pretty much grip the whole device. So, um, just my initial impressions. It does feel kind of, uh, kind of small here with the um, the controls on the side, but it is a tablet. So, you know, that three in one, I guess it couldn't be perfect in every way. It does feel all right to play with the controllers on the side, but you're probably gonna have to, you know, reposition your hand in a way that you may not be accustomed to. But anyway, that's that. Let's get the device powered on and see what it's actually like to use it. So hold that down for two seconds. It says we got a light on the top. Now it's coming on. Let's check out the, um, the stand here. It's just like a flap, a magnetic flap. It does have, um, some holes for the vent. So I'm guessing that goes there. Okay, so that goes there. And then the stand uh, flips up like that. Okay, so the stand mechanism, pretty sturdy, has a pretty good range that you can adjust it to. So let's stand that up here. All right, so now we're cooking. But anyway, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna get back to you and we're gonna go through it and I'll give you my you know first real thoughts and impressions you know using this device after it's all set up. So just stay tuned for that. Okay, so we got the um, One X Player X1 up and running now. Running a game. I like to test this game uh, because it's you know simple indie game, but it does have you know fast-paced gameplay, so I can you know get a sense of like the 120 hertz um, screen. Now I will say that the three-in-one concept, I think, is pretty uh, unique. It's pretty special um, for this you know form factor. Let's check out the. Um, the software here while we're at it. So this is the, the One X console software. We have the ability to adjust our TDP from six watts all the way up to 35 watts. So that is nice to see. We can adjust the fan. We can make a preset, um, two presets or automatic. So we have the, um, the fan curves here. We can add, I think we can add, um, yeah, we can add like lines to here and adjust the fan as needed. So that is um, that is nice to see. We have two presets there. We also have the vibration settings, so we can adjust the vibration of the controllers. We have a pretty good selection of things we can do in here. We can change the resolution from 1600p, all of these different resolutions here uh, anyway. So we also can adjust the, the RGB. There is RGB on the, on the back here. If you can see that two RGB lights there, so you can adjust the RGB um, with this sort of customization tool here. We can get the performance overlay. We do have to install um, RTS and uh, HW info. So I'm gonna make sure to do that. Um, sound vibration, that's gonna turn your sounds into vibration. That's good for like emulated games or anything that doesn't have built-in vibration that could do something. Now we also have the gyroscope that's built in. I believe that's built into the um, the device itself, not the controller. So you can't take the controllers off and use the gyro, but you have mouse, Xbox, uh, gamepad emulation, as well as a PS4 controller emulation. So the PS4 is good because it allows you to uh, um, edit the um, the settings within Steam directly, but Xbox is good for every, you know, game that doesn't really have that um, same, you know, functionality that Steam has. So that's good to have the gyro there. We have CPU turbo in here as well. I don't want CPU turbo on, to be honest, because I want the GPU to just get, get as much power as possible, then brightness as well as um, volume. Now, we also have the um, the One X console like library, so all your games will go here. I should have a game to come into here, so let's maybe uh, scan so it can populate my one game I have installed here. So you see that there, it did populate that. Now, we should be able to also do the back button, so let's see if we can program the the back buttons here. Let's see. So we can control all of these different things here. Um, let's program these back buttons. So the back button here, I'll make this one, I'll make this uh, A, I guess. We'll make that A, and then we'll make the other one um, X. So set mapping, set mapping to A. This one will be 
x okay and i'll make this a uh, full order as well just so it can um be like a turbo function okay so we have a and x on the back here so let's get back out and let's see what we can actually get into okay so we're back in the game now let's see how this thing feels as an actual handheld i know it's a three and one but you may want to see how it feels as just a handheld so let's see how it feels in the hand while gaming i have the back button set up now okay so feels pretty decent i will say these controllers are rather small um, so that may be an issue if you have larger hands like someone like myself it may be an issue for you because this controller does feel uh, pretty small here um, I'm not sure if it comes off of a video like how small this controller actually is but it does feel like my hands are having to be in a weird position especially to get to this right joystick like my hand has to be really um, cramped up here to get to this uh, right joystick the left joystick feels good it's in a good natural place where my hand wants to rest. What's my first thoughts on this device? Now, I do think uh, as a three-in-one aspect, I think it is uh, a pretty promising package here. You have the, the handheld, you have the tablet, you have the um, keyboard here. So it is a pretty um, compelling package, but I will say it's gonna come down to these um, these drivers because it's using the same um, you know processor as the uh, the MSI Claw, and we saw you know how bad that is. All the videos online right now, pretty much roasting that thing because it's taking more power than the AMD devices, and it's giving out less you know performance. So it's pretty much it's not worth it really. Um, this does have double the RAM, 32 gigabytes. So I'm gonna dig a little deeper do all of the benchmark tests to really see if this device can sort of redeem the Intel Ultra 7 uh, 155H. And we're gonna see, leave a comment down below of any games you wanna see me test specifically on the um, the One X Player X1. Maybe we compare it to the, um, the MSI Claw to see how it um, compares as far as performance because this has 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So maybe we can see a difference there. Leave a comment what you wanna see me test. Um, and just, let, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one. Let me know what you wanna see specifically, anything you wanna see me test. Um, you know, I'm gonna put this device through all of its paces. And yeah, I am pretty excited for the, you know, the functionality of this device, being a tablet, being a handheld, being a, um, a laptop replacement. I do think we can see some promising, um, you know, results with this device. Um, not the favorite, not my favorite controller in the world, but I guess it can get you through in a pinch. Like I said, leave a comment, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that great stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next Barely Average Dude video. Excited for this X1, three in one. Peace.